Hi guys! So in honor of World Heart Day, which is just around the corner, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about cholesterol, particularly three things that you should know about cholesterol. Now I'm sure you think you already know quite a bit about cholesterol. It is pretty common. Uh, we all know that's not good for us, but there might be some things that you don't know, which I wanted to talk to you today. So one thing that I want you to know is that cholesterol is not found in plants. You know, I've gone to supermarkets and I've seen uh, products like fruit juices and oil and olive oil having cholesterol free on them. And I was surprised because plants do not make the kind of cholesterol that our body takes in in the form of cholesterol so the only source of cholesterol is actually naturally only coming from animal sources so humans and animals are the only ones who can make cholesterol and so that means that if you're eating things like olive oil or olives or fruits and nuts and seeds they do not have the ability to produce cholesterol so they do not ever have cholesterol in them so don't get fooled by marketing claims which say that it's cholesterol free it's always been cholesterol free so like if you look at this uh, oil here corn oil it's corn it never has cholesterol so this is by the fact that it says cholesterol free it's a little misleading because in the it never had cholesterol to begin with right so going forward i want you to remember and be conscious that the only sources of cholesterol in your diet is only coming from animal sources so namely meats like red meats uh, white meats and shellfish even egg yolks and cheese so that means that you cannot absorb cholesterol from rice you cannot absorb cholesterol cholesterol from pita bread or any kinds of breads as long as they don't have any other animal uh, source added in them and another thing you might not have known about cholesterol is that cholesterol in foods do not and i'm repeating this again do not raise blood cholesterol levels now this might be something new for you you may not have heard about this before and doesn't make any sense maybe to you at this point but the thing is that cholesterol directly from foods will not raise your blood cholesterol levels so you know the fact that people say that eggs or egg yolks has a lot of cholesterol in them and you should avoid them and all of that it's actually not really based on truth the fact is that our body has a very strict and tight balance and because our body like i said animal sources and humans we make cholesterol we have our own cholesterol so if we are short of cholesterol our body is able to make it so if we have too much cholesterol our body first of all makes less of it and it doesn't make sense for our body to absorb any more cholesterol from foods so generally what happens when you already have a lot of cholesterol in your body and your body is trying to maintain a balance it is going to reject the cholesterol that's coming from foods it just doesn't need to absorb it it's only going to absorb it if it needs it right so that's what's happening so if you're eating foods that are high in cholesterol they, that cholesterol is not necessarily going to always be absorbed uh, also when our food has too much cholesterol in it our body absorbs very little of it because it, it only takes in how much it needs so that's why foods that have cholesterol in them are not really bad for you okay something else is now okay so yes col the cholesterol from egg yolks is not harmful and does not necessarily raise our ldl or bad cholesterol levels but uh, we still just as a caution just because there's high cholesterol in egg yolks uh, people who do have high cholesterol uh, we recommend that they have about four savings or, or less a week of egg yolks just to stay on the safe side but it does not mean that just because you're going to eat eggs or high cholesterol foods you will increase your ldl levels okay so the actual culprit is not cholesterol it's actually trans fats and saturated fats so foods that are high in trans fats or saturated fats will raise your blood cholesterol levels so it's not the cholesterol in foods it's actually the trans fats and saturated fats in foods and these are a little different uh, so trans fats you may already know this 
trans fats is being banned by the government and by health industry because it has a direct impact on blood cholesterol levels and direct imp- impact on heart disease and heart attacks. So trans fats is getting banned from food industry. So you want to have zero trans fats. Now, saturated fats is naturally found in some foods. And you want to try to limit that if you are trying to prevent raising blood cholesterol levels. So the third thing I want you to remember is if you want to reduce your saturated fat intake which raises your blood cholesterol levels you want to avoid fats that are solid at room temperature okay so that means foods like butter margarine even coconut oil and ghee you know clarified butter even pure desi ghee um, cheese the fat layer on your in your meats Um, and the skin on your chickens these are all fats that are solidified when they're at room temperature so the chemical formula of saturated fat actually makes it solid at room temperature so anything any fat that is solid at room temperature will have some saturated fat in it now if you think about milk milk does have saturated fat in it but it's not solid at room temperature it's thick at room temperature where it's not solid not solid like cheese so anything that's solid at room temperature is what will raise your blood cholesterol levels and increase the plaque and build up in your blood vessels that eventually lead to heart disease so try to avoid things that are solid at room temperature replace all your butters your margarines your ghees with liquid vegetable oils Uh, We will talk about ghee or coconut oil in a future episode. But just so you know, if you are worried about your heart health and you are aiming to reduce your cholesterol levels in your blood, then I would recommend that you shift all solid solid fats into liquid fats, um, ideally vegetable fats, and still limit that. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a quick example of an Amul Pure Ghee. I got this from Amazon India. But I want you to look at the nutrition facts table and look at the trans fats and the saturated fats. So recommended trans fat should be 0 grams or 0%. Um, And saturated fat, if you look at the daily value on the right hand side, and you are trying to aim for less than 5% of saturated fat in a single serving. And this is a one tablespoon serving of ghee. And this has 45% of saturated fat. And your goal is to only have 5% of saturated fat at a serving. So this means that this is high in saturated fat and that means you need to avoid it if you are aiming to reduce your blood cholesterol levels and also preventing built up of cholesterol in your body and your blood. So if you liked what I taught you today, I have created an e-course that you can take at your own time and pace that helps you create your meal plans using the formulas that I talked to you today about the portions and the types of foods that you can have and you can't have to prevent diseases. This is designed for weight loss if that's what you choose to do, but it's also designed to maintain your blood cholesterol levels, maintain your blood sugar levels and have a healthy balanced weight. And if weight loss is your goal, we also teach you on how to do that. It's very simple. You just log in. We have a set of videos for you. It is a $65 investment. It's a one-time investment. Um, So feel free to check that out if you like what I'm teaching. Okay, thank you. And I hope to see you in another episode. And do let me know what type of videos you want me to make. And I'll make a lot more of them. Have a great day heart healthy week. Goodbye.